Welcome to Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you will learn how to manage accounts receivables and payables in Tally Prime. Tally Prime automatically creates a unique bill reference for every invoice, making it simple to track and manage receivables and payables. Before we start, press F11 and ensure Enable Billwise Entry is set to Yes. Similarly, ensure Maintain Balance Bill by Bill in Party Ledgers is enabled. Next, let's record a sales invoice. Press V for vouchers. Press F8 for Sales. Select the Party Ledger and Sales Ledger. Select the item you are selling. Enter the quantity and rate. Press Enter and accept the Sales Invoice. On saving the invoice, Tally Prime automatically assigns a unique bill reference. To see the bill reference for the invoice we just recorded, press Page Up. Next. Let's stop the Auto Bill Allocation by pressing F12 for Configuration, Set, Use Default Billwise Details for Bill Allocation to Know, Accept the Configuration, Press Enter and move to the end of the voucher. Now you can see that the Billwise Details screen shows up with the bill reference. Let's accept the voucher and see how to record a receipt voucher for receiving money against the invoice. Press F6 for the receipt voucher. Select the bank ledger. If you are receiving in cash, you can select cash ledger. Here is a tip for you. To show the bills even before you mention the amount, press F12 for configuration, enable pre-allocate bills for payment, receipt, journal vouchers. Select the party ledger. Now you can see the Billwise Details screen showing up right after selecting the party ledger. Under Method of Adjustment, select Against Reference. This is because you are making a receipt against existing bills. Even when making payments or adjustments against the existing bills, you need to use Against Reference. Select the Sales Bill Reference against which receipt is made. The amount from the sales bill is auto-captured. You can modify it if it is a partial payment. If there are more than one bill, you can again select Against Reference and select Bills. If not, select End of List. Mention the bank details. Enter and accept the voucher. To quickly view the receivable report, press Alt plus G for Go To. Select Bills Receivables. Alt plus F5 for detailed. You can see the sales bill, partial receipt that we made and final pending. Press Escape to go back. Next, let's make advance payment. Press F5 for payment. Select Bank Ledger, Party Ledger. Under Method of Adjustment, select Advance. You can change reference name if required. Let's mention it has ADV 001. Mention the advance amount. Select End of List. Mention the bank details. Enter and accept the voucher. Next, let's record a purchase voucher and adjust the advance amount. Press F9 for purchase. Press F2 to change the date. Select the party. Purchase Ledger, mention the item details, press Enter and move forward to Billwise Details screen. Here, since we have some advance amount to adjust, let's select Against Reference. Select the Advance Reference Bill, mention the advance amount, press Enter. Now, for the remaining amount, select New Reference. A quick info. New reference will be used for all new sales or purchase bills. The amount will be auto-captured. Press Enter and accept the voucher. Now, when you check the bill's payable reports, the pending will be the net amount after advance adjustment. Press Escape to go back. Let's see when and how to use the on-account reference. Press F6 for receipt voucher. Select Bank, Party Ledger. In a rare situation, 
when you are not sure about the bill against which the receipt or payment is made, you can use on account. Select on account. Mention the amount. Enter to move forward and mention the bank details. Press enter and accept the voucher. Now, let's quickly view the party outstanding by pressing Alt plus G for go to. Type and select Ledger Outstanding. Select Party Ledger. Now you can see that the on account adjustment will be done against the total pending amount since it was not made against the specific bill. Later, when you have the bill details against which the receipt was made, you can change it to Against Reference and select the bill. For more details on receivables and payable reports, watch our video on how to view and analyze outstanding in Tally Prime. Before we wrap up, here is a quick recap. Auto generation of bill reference for sales and adjusting with receipt. Advance payment and adjusting with purchase bill. Use on account reference.